Hello and welcome back to the Python 3 for Beginners tutorial and today I will be talking about importing modules as well as some other things like uh, time.sleep and random numbers and stuff like that so uh, basically what we are going to be doing first of all is doing importing so basically what importing does is it imports modules uh, say you want to have uh, something that draws shapes to the screen well that doesn't come built in with Python so you need to tell Python that you're going to import something before you could just start typing out all the code that you want to use in the th uh, so let's just say we'll just call this uh, it's not, this is not a real thing but for example we will do import and then we'll just call it shapes that this is just completely made up this is not a real thing and say after we import shapes we want to shapes dot draw rect we'll just say this is a function built into the shapes thing right here so this is how we would reference a code from it and then we'll just say like parameters or we'll just do x y and then color something and that that is how you would use uh, the thing in shapes but a real module that is that comes with python is time so we just do import time now time.sleep is a way to uh, freeze a, a good word is probably pause a script so for example if I just have print and I print hello but then I go ahead and do time.sleep and like I said earlier this is how you uh, reference it so we're importing time so we're using something from time and what we're using is the sleep function that is made in the time uh, module and this right here the parameter that goes in here is how many seconds you want to pause it for I'm gonna pause it for two seconds and just to show that it is actually pausing I'm gonna go ahead and print world as well so that you see a significant difference so it does hello waits two seconds and prints world then it ends script say I don't like the word time I can change this to whatever I want just typing in as and then this is where we put in the name that I want it to be so say I want it to be food well this is no longer time dot sleep this is food dot sleep because think of this as a variable that you're storing the time module in so Instead of referencing it as time, we reference it as food from now on. So food.sleep does the same exact thing. It's just a different name, basically. Um, another one is import random. Now, a thing you can do is you can uh, make a... Let's just... Okay, so we can store a variable. We'll just call this randnum. We're going to set this equal to the, um, well, basically what we can do is we can do random dot rand int. And what this does is this references the random module and it imports or uses the rand int function built in. And the two parameters in here is the range that you want it to go. So I want it to be in between 1 and 10. And I can go ahead and print rand num. And what this does is this is using the random module. I just stored a uh, random integer, rand int in between 1 and 10 into the variable random and I'm just gonna print it to show you that it is different every single time so this 2 this was 3 this was 5 6 you know you get the you get the idea random number each time but I don't have to make this 10 I can bump this up to 20 and go ahead and run it again 3 15 11 13 you know you get the idea 9 down there so that's just a little bit of importing, but uh, I could change this as r, and then this would just be uh, r dot rand int, and then run that, and it still does the same exact thing. But say that 
I only want to import rand int from random. Well, all I have to do there, instead of just being import rand uh, random, I do from random import, and then I want to do rand int. Well, I'm only importing the rand int, which means I'm directly bringing this into the script over here. So I can go ahead, get rid of that R over there, and all I have to do is random rand num is equal to rand int, and it does the same thing because I'm only importing this. I'm importing this directly into the script. So I'm just directly using this, and I can go ahead and drop the random over here because um, it's just bringing all of those into our script right now. But say I want to import everything as random, but I don't want to have that random dot and then whatever. I use an asterisk, and that just means import everything. So from random, import everything. So uh, I can just do other things built into the random module without having to type in random dot and then the function that I want to use. And that's useful for a thing. So if you're, say, using a lot of the um, random functions, uh, you can just go ahead and do from random import all, and it just saves you a lot more time and it uh, makes it look a little bit cleaner. But make sure that you do not have any functions that are going to interfere with the functions in random. So I can't go ahead and just be making over here a define rand int because that would interfere. So we'll just do like, you know, uh, x, y or whatever. Yeah, this can't be a thing because since we are directly importing everything from random, uh, we can't have any of these functions over here uh, that are the same that are the ones uh, that are the same as the ones in random so I hope you all enjoyed this video on importing and a little bit of random in time if you have any questions make sure to comment down below and I will go ahead and answer them for you and if you enjoy the video leave a like and I will see you guys in the next one